Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. This is Bowtie Soulfly coming at you from the Bowtie Soulfly Estate here in lovely Darkest Dungeon. So, in our last episode, we went ahead and took on the Incohate Flesh. Inchote? Incohate? I don't know. We took on some crazy abomination of flesh and bone, and apparently it was Park Porce or something. Anyway, it died. So, we did well. Came out with some treasure. Everyone's feeling good. So, went ahead and scouted ahead seeing what mission we should take. Uh, we are not going to mess with the Brigand 8 Pounder, uh, because we are not ready to take that thing on. I really wanted to do this medium level mission to get this Sun Cloak, but then I noticed, hey, the Gunslinger's Buckle is available, which is a brilliant trinket for our Highwaymen, especially since I run them uh, focused on range skills rather than melee. So we're going to be taking on the Necromancer. So we took out the Apprentice Necromancer, now we're taking out his big brother, the Necromancer. Hashtag not Apprentice. So the party composition we're going to be going with is going to be, of course, veteran level. Uh, we're going to be taking out Reynald, Lasso, Montacute, and Bry. Dark Souls Knight. Ooh, that sounds sexy. I like it. So, Bry is going to be rocking some level 3 skills here. We got Wicked Hack and Iron Swan. Iron Swan because eventually he will move to the back, uh, and he will summon units in front of him, so I want to be able to hit him in the back if need be. Uh, Wicked Hack because just a great skill. Uh, if it bleeds, again, uh, for enemies that do bleed, it's a solid skill to have. And then, of course, Adrenaline Rush to heal her, cure Blight and Bleed, and, of course, buff her. And we got some camping skills that will help buff her as well. Uh, our friend Reynald. Unfortunately, he has the fits, but I have a plan to deal with that that I'll tell you in just a sec. But he's rocking, of course, Smite. Deal with the Unholy, because we're going to see a lot of Unholy. Zealous Accusation to clear multiple targets if we can. Stunning Blow, because, of course, getting a stun, always good. And then Inspiring Cry to heal a tiny bit of health. But, of course improve our torch and give additional stress heal. Um, Montague has her Heaven's Hairpin and Manslayer's Ring. So of course increasing the torch light is going to help her. Uh, we also have Baristan's Head which gives additional protection but increased stress damage. And then the Calming Crystal which decreases stress damage and gives extra dodge to counterbalance that. Bry, our friend Bry, drove my Chevy to the levee but the levee was Bry. Anybody a uh, fan out there of Family Guy? So what we're going to do with Bry, I thought I had it unlocked, I do not, is we... Oh, we do! It's cool, I'm the man. Uh, we are going to give her Snuffbox. So Snuffbox is going to remove a target disease from one companion. Reynald is that target companion. I apologize if you can hear my cat in the background, it's meowing. He's irritating. Shut up, Smokey. Alright, and then of course, uh, Bry is rocking the Lucky Talisman, increased dodge and accuracy to range skills, but a little more stress damage. And then the Blighting Satchel, so increased Blight skill chance. We really, really need this Poison Darts to come through on this Necromancer, so increased Blight chance will help with that. Slightly improved speed, but slightly decreased dodge, but our dodge is still 25, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. And then, of course, Lasso coming back. Still need to get rid of Scattering on him, which we will do if we make a little bit of money on this mission, but he is, of course, rocking his Abyssal Artillery. Weakening Curse, Word Reconstruction, Vulnerability Hex, the usual. So... Uh, he also has on, uh, I was considering putting on that very rare cauldron that he got, but we really don't use stun skills, like Hands from the Abyss, and our debuffs are already at a high enough percentage for now, so uh, I'm going to instead stick with the uh, Steady Bracer to counteract scattering, and then of course the Evasion Incense to give him increased dodge, so he's out here living. But let's go ahead and get started with Dark Souls Knight. We're going to, of course, overpack, because <laughs> look who you're talking to here. Uh, so we're going to take 12 food, especially since we are on the lower end of the spectrum. We're only level 3, and this is 3 to 4 for the level. Uh, two full stacks. Alright. Uh, we'll take a couple extra. I'm going to be ultra safe in this one, so this should be more than enough, and we still have 2,600 left in the event this mission doesn't go well. From overseas, eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I have found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. <laughs> Having I'll plumb you from eh, visiting got guests, I murdered them as they slept. Also, for anyone watching this, uh, I'm planning on streaming quite a bit tomorrow. I'll probably stream Darkest Dungeon, a different file, not this one. And then also, I just got into Agario or Agar.io, however you want to say it. I just started getting into it. So. 
desperate. Go and search on him. Perfect. All right. So, holy crap, is this thing far away. Wow. I'm used to those nice little square ones that just give me everything I want immediately. How unfortunate for me. Am I right? First world problems. All right. We'll take that torch. Nobody touch it. Good. No one has kleptomania. So, we're actually going to get to open a lock display cabinet, which is lovely. And we're going to pick up 1,600 gold and three busts. So that's what happens when someone doesn't just screw with it for no reason. We're going to disarm that trap, no problem. Hop in here. Pop a torch. Get some scouts. So that's why I love having a grave robber. Grave robbers tend to get good scouting from what I've noticed. So heirlooms, busts as far as the eye can see. Hey, we get the surprise, so we're going to try and take out this marksman immediately. Uh, are you going to get blighted? You are going to get blighted. Take that crit. Hold on to it for me. Hold on to it deep down. Uh, we'll just go for the numbers advantage here. Yeah, we'll take... Wow. Come on. Bro. All right. And I'll weaken and curse on him. Beautiful. Another crit to start us out, so that'll debuff him as well. So less damage, always good. Five damage, not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Graveyard slash, five. Again, not great, not terrible. All right, let's go ahead and stack up some more, so that should take care of him. Let's see. Nope, never mind. Coral going to come through. Ooh, eight with the crit, though, is not terrible for us. We can survive that. Um, zero heal is very upsetting, though. That I will fully admit. We're gonna deal some damage here. Graveyard slash. And beautiful dodge from Bry. Thanks for increased dodge chance. So we'll kill him. And let's go ahead and end this battle now. Okay. So a little bit tougher enemies in our veteran level dungeon here, but nothing we can't handle for right now. So. Oop. There's my obligatory freeze. Like I said, I promise you one per episode at least. I'm nothing if not consistent. All right, we're going to get another scout. Beautiful. So not a lot of room battles so far, just some hallway battles, so I'm okay with that. Ooh, we get the surprise. Clutch. We're going to need to take these two out in the middle E immediately. Letter E, immediately. Crit. Good enough. That will work. 14, that'll work. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right. No stress for us. That's what's important right now. Um, I should probably start running some moves, or at least one move per file, where I can either shut or get rid of these corpses, or pull him forward, because it is unfortunate that he's able to just sit back there and snipe me. But good news, I also do run moves like Iron Swan that can take out the back line just fine. So I'm going to heal up a little bit while I got... The chance, uh, increased bleed on her is not good. Let's stunning blow, or miss, either way. Graveyard Slash gonna come in. Ooh, actually hits this time, that's unfortunate, but we're living. Let's hit him for zero, but some blight. Gonna get the debuff there. All right, so he's not going to be living for much longer. So let's go ahead and heal ourselves up for 2 HP and a little stress. And some more 2 HP and a little resist. All right, nighty night. Don't let the door hit you in the you-know-what on the way out. Oh, good. We get a chance to uh, heal, buff, do our thing. All right. <laughs> Madman's corpse looks cool. Hey, we get another rare, uh, uncommon trinket for our grave robbers, which we love, so we'll leave those busts behind for now. Probably not the best move, but eh, it's fine. All right, decorative urn. Gonna pick up some stuffs. Bleed amulet. Uh, we are gonna take none of this, because we can't fit it, unfortunately. I'll take the amulet. We got a little extra food, so let's go ahead and eat that. And I'll go ahead and just apply these for now. We have no debuffs, so... All right, we'll go ahead and walk. Let's walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. West side, walk it out. East side, walk it out. All right, you've been hitting a little weaker, so... Curry some favor, my man. Get that 30 damage. 
Hop in here. Pop a torch. All right. I'm really hoping we get some scouting when we get, like, right here. I would love to scout two rooms just so I know. No, it's not going to be that one. Don't, no, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, my God, I hate you. All right, she resists the bleed, but we miss out on some fantastic treasure. And these are some skills I definitely have to get rid of. Stashed heirlooms, busts. Sorry about you. Oh, I forgot to... I'm an idiot. All right, we'll pop a torch so that we're okay. Throne dagger should drill right into his chest and just take him out. And let's not even give him a chance to act. Or let's give him a chance to act. Beautiful dodge. 21, that's what I'm talking about. You send them back to hell! Back to hell! Alright, we'll take the stack of cash for now. Because it's more guaranteed that we'll find cash than we'll find specifically uh, another one. Well, someone might not even camp before the boss. Am I right? I'm right. Star is born. Ooh, a spearman. Have not seen these in quite a while. All right. Well, obviously, I'm going to kill him. All right, 12 damage. 11 will work. And that's another reason that I like having bleed it out, or I'm sorry, if it bleeds, because even if we can't bleed the skeletons necessarily, we can hit them in the third spot, which is what I want. Heal yourself up, bud. Take that three health. There you go. Okay. All right. So you should. Nope, not gonna drop. Now you'll drop. And let's go ahead and kill him before he gets the act. Wow. Maybe I do need to camp because that accuracy loss is killing me. Look at a crit. A bone vampire. I don't know why I just thought of that. Yeah, let's debuff him again. Because screw you, bud. And die. Alright, so he's going to the grave. Severely injured. Portraits we could use. More so than anti-venom. Alright, I'm going to hold on to the holy water just in case we come across any eldritch fountains or anything we can use that on, including things to buff us. So we're moving on down, moving on down. Nobody touched the books, I swear to God! All right. Surprise! All right. Killing it. Let's get some blight going on her. What do you got, 15? You ain't nothing. We can incurse our spearmen. Nice 18 damage to our spearmen. High damage, is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Darn. All right, so we, she's going to get a little stress off. That's fine. We'll live it. Impale. Ooh, the crit's not good. But the damage is fine. Wow. This is the game being fair, ladies and gentlemen. Because I absolutely deserve to have two crits right in a row. In your chest. See your death. See your death. 16 heal. That's exactly what I needed. So that's why you're my number one. You're my one and only. I want you to want me. What? Okay. Let's heal a one and a two. Take that. Crack a torch. Beautiful. We have a fountain. Gargoyles. Have not seen these in quite a while either. So let's go ahead or unholy. Oh, I thought we got the surprise. I'm an idiot. What else is new, right? <laughs> got him. So I might need to go ahead and camp out, unfortunately. Good news is we'll increase his accuracy and we can still buff some of them. But, yeah, that stress is a little more than I definitely want to deal with. Alright, she's down. Let's take out a gargoyle, eh? No? What's your protect chance? 50%. That would explain it. Alright. So that's one down of the gargoyles. Flurry of claws. Not bad. 
Let's get some blight damage going on you. Rend for the old gods. I want to rend for the new gods. Who needs your old gods? Got all these beautiful new gods out here. Alright. Resist the bleed. I'm going to take a turn to get him down. So he should go down now. We're going to stress heal ourselves. Just make sure he definitely dies. Miss. Alright, we'll have her use Adrenaline Rush this turn. Nice crit heal. We'll heal a bunch of stress. We're down to three, so we're at a manageable level now for the stress. That I can deal with. 16 HP. I love it. What's that? Oh, you're no longer bleeding. Oh, yeah, that's right. And you have increased damage? Whoa! Excuse me, miss. A dodge would be lovely. Called it. All right. Beautiful crit. Let's heal some stress. Let's get that stress down just a little lower. And murder! All right. But a victory nonetheless. Man, you're trifling. <laughs> trifling victory. Way nothing. All right. Appears we've stopped bleeding, so I'll take some money. Ornate Fountain of Holy Purport. You're a purport. You know what, let's see if we can get him disease heal, maybe? Divine benefit? Well, we decreased his stress, which is what we wanted to do, so as long as this isn't a room battle, we are set. We are keeping it sexy. No one touch it. I swear to God, don't touch the books. Beautiful dodge. Let's go in this room. Crack a torch. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right. So we are going to make camp here. Circle in the dark. Of course, eat eight food. Get everyone nice and healed up. Stress relieved. All right. Let's see what we want to do. No. No. Maybe, actually. Um, yes. First off. First and foremost. Just don't want to mess with that. Alright, so we have ten. So that's six. To give her all the buffs she wants. All that she wants is another buff now. She's going to marry. Alright. So I think then we dark strength. And that'll do it. So who do I want to have increased strength? Uh, I'm going to give dark strength to my crusader. We'll have her battle trance and sharpen spear. So now she's got increased damage, accuracy, and crit. He's back to his normal accuracy and has increased damage. Bry's over here just chilling like, whatever, I didn't want anything anyway. And we'll go ahead and cure his stress that he just caused himself. Let's take a little rescue. Ah, nighttime ambush, that's bad. That's really bad. All right. Miss. Miss. What is this going to give us? Player crits. Um, yeah, you're going to move all sorts of back. Love it. We can't increase the torchlight. That's really unfortunate for us, but... She's going down next round. You're moving forward. Good. So we can Shadow Fade and Stun. Dodge would be lovely. I know you have increased accuracy, but Damn. Alright, we'll Shadow Fade the one that's still going to go. Party's back in order.
20 damage will work. 14 heal is beautiful. Get rid of one, hurt the other. We don't have Toxin Trickery on her. Ooh, that's unfortunate. That'll work, though. By stress. So we are bleeding a blit. A blit. A blit. blit, blit. What is your debuff? <laughs> that's how we solve that. All right, we'll take the rest. Let's hope it's to the left. There will be no blood left. Carelessness what you sound like? Cowards. All right. So we are going to eat. Crack a torch. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Get it popping. The purpose is made clear. All right, not the room I needed. Dead. Let's clean these up quick, shall we? This. Dead. You suck. All right. Heals. Good, so we'll at least be at a good amount of health for the boss fight. Not enough. Miss. I'll sort of be at enough health. Beautiful. I was hoping that would kill. That's fine. A few bites. Just don't blight. And bye bye. All right. We'll definitely take the extra food. Use a key. Oh good, show me what's on that side. I assume it's a boss. <coughs> Don't touch the books. Swear to God. Alright. So that's why I saved my food just in case, because we could get a hunger activation in this hallway. So I didn't want to eat all that food before we went in. What'd I say? What. Did. I. Say. Boys out here predicting everything. All right. Even Shovel it up. Old stone seems bent on preventing passage. Max torchlight. Let's do this. One fifty-eight. All right. Let's make it work. Immediately. Just gonna start stacking up light. Flash is willing. We can incurse, get a crit. I'm just going to try and take care of these as they come. And still low bleed resist. So, stacking up the damage. Seven per round. Beautiful. A little bit of stress. Not a problem. Ooh, bulwark's a problem, though. All right. Light. Debuff. Bleed. Die. See if we can get a stun. We do. Beautiful. My main goal is to take down the Necromancer as quickly as possible, and then I'll worry about his baddies afterwards. Beautiful crit. Thank you. So we're doing 14 per round here. Uh, let's go ahead and stun the guy up front. He does nothing this round. Let's get in a heal. Beautiful. Moss Blight. Give me that Blight damage. Come on. 18 damage per round. Take that. Some stress. Bring it. I eat stress for breakfast. 
Sometimes lunch. Occasionally dinner. Seven more damage adding on top. Get more bleed. Don't stun. You suck. Good news, though, is... We'll heal up, and we can Shadow Fade, get back in position, and stun one of theirs. 18 damage. Beautiful. So he's down to 42 health. That is very doable. It's going to cause me the most trouble here. Uh, I can hit you, so I'll stun you. Put us back in position. And we're going to Abyssal Artillery. We get a nice crit. Heal some stress. Stun pops. Clumsy Axe Blade. Going to move him forward and also do nothing. So let's Iron Swan this back row. Nice 13 damage. Let's start going to town on them, shall we? Smite a Rooney. One more round, he is dead. Say goodnight. Alright, that's how we do it. All right, so we're down to two. DOT on him. At this point, I'm just going for straight damage. Because we're leaving right after this. Oh, that hurts. We're going to have to heal him up. Damage over time. That's why I'm telling you, I love bringing Bri to this, because she just puts in so much work. I mean, 12 Blight per round is huge. No more stress for you. We did it. Alright, we're going to toss that. And that. And that's a mission, ladies and gentlemen. So we're picking up 67.50 in gold. Gunslinger's buckle, 75.70. So we got rabies. I'm going to need to remove that. Warrior of light, which is good. Soft bad. Impulsive bad. So we're going to have to remove some stuff next turn. But I actually have something I have to go take care of right now, so hence why I was a little more rushed towards the end of this episode. In time... But, the tragic extent of my failings. overall, a very successful mission. We got some stress we're going to need to take care of, and I have to send some people to the sanitarium, but that I can take care of before our next episode. So, again, if you're enjoying the series and you would like to see more, if you have any feedback, if you want someone named after you or to name a character, all that good stuff, remember, like, comment, subscribe. At this point, you all know the drill. For now, this is Bowtie SoFly saying have a great day, and stay fly.